everyone welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be focusing on the grout on the tiles so we're going to be focusing on um this goes back to a better state than what it currently is um currently it's a bit of discoloration and i'm hoping to get it into a better state than what it currently looks like so join me today I'm going to use the power paste from Scrub Daddy, the Scrub Daddy Scrub Mummy range power paste stuff, Sonic Scrubber, white vinegar. Um, I like to use white vinegar on the grout, um, especially in the bathroom. It does remove a bit of stains and some buildup. But then if I've got really hard um, stains or hard things to remove, that's when I'll go either with the paste um, either this one or the pink stuff one they tend to work really well or I just spray this onto the tile and then just removes the grout I just leave it for like maybe 10 minutes and then I scrub it off using my sonic scrubber The Sonic Scrubber for me is the best thing ever, especially when it comes to cleaning. Compared to using a normal cleaning uh, toothbrush, this makes the job a lot faster. Collected quite a bit of dirt on that. I'm just gonna wipe it off. Yep, so white vinegar works really well to make sure that all the buildup and all the dirt definitely comes off. So the paste is amazing if you've got tougher stains. Got a nice citrusy scent, tougher stain. Get a little bit of this. I would say this paste is for like a deep, deep clean and it just really gets into the grout um, and removes the discoloration. I just repeat the process as many times as I need to, but I'm just gonna do the whole bathroom today. So it's going to take some time. You know in the comment section below what you guys use to remove grout all over your house, in the kitchen or in the bathrooms. Let me know if there's a better product that I could be using, something that you guys have tried out. Okay, like I mentioned, this is gonna be a quite a long, tedious job. So you would need to set yourself some time, maybe once a month to actually get this done. Um, or, you know, depending on how small the surface area you guys have, uh, you can try that. But always make sure that you do a small patch test on the area that you need to do, just to make sure that, you know, you don't um, damage any surfaces. But this is what works for me. So you can try out these products for your own home and let me know how they work for you. So I'm just going to wipe the surface now. I've done all the areas and I'm quite happy with how everything has turned out. Um, I just repeat this process as many times as I possibly can to ensure that all areas are clean. And um, if you enjoyed this content, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. But this is what I do to clean the grout in the bathroom. Um, I will do one for the kitchen. But yeah, everything is looking a lot better than it did before we started. And that is it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. So overall, so vinegar works really well because it breaks down the dirt, the oils, stains, bacteria, whatever you've got. It works really well um, to just make sure that your surface area is clean. But always do a little patch test um, with the white vinegar um, to just make sure that the surface does not get any damage. Always leave it for a few minutes before you scrub off. Now the power paste, great because it's non-toxic. It's got a lovely lemon scent and it works really well on grout. Just kind of re restores it all to the natural color that it had before so these are the two products that I use um, they work really well and I'm quite happy with how they always turn out you know the grout always turns out after using them but so you do not mix these two products together please but overall that's it from me I hope you enjoyed this video you have a lovely day bye